Welcome to Event Screencast 1 for Charlie's Champions. Um, I just wanted to show you how to set up a new event and add photos and then post that event to the web page. Um, what we'll be looking at is the post area of the WordPress backend. Um, we're going to click Add New. And for this screencast, I'm going to be adding the Boston half marathon so we're going to type that in and in the body content we have this here which we're going to post there and what I did is I just did a quick copy paste uh, and there's our content I'm going to add in some paragraph returns for that as well um, now, you'll notice that this Boston Half Marathon had a picture associated with it. And we have this featured area right here, which you can add a featured image. And we're going to select a file. And we're going to find that file, um, just like you normally would. So we're going to go into... Charlie's Champions, and we're going to go to Charlie's. I'm going to go to the site content, events, and we're going to the Boston Half Marathon and this picture here. You'll notice the picture loads. Um, one thing that's different that we're going to do is we're going to use that as our featured picture. And you'll see down in the bottom half of your featured image, it posted it. So you can just hit save and you can close. So that picture is there. And to make this an event, we're just going to want to tick the fundraising event underneath the category. And um, because this has a date of October 2008, what we're going to do is we're going to post date this October um, 19th. And we're going to change this to 2008. And we're going to hit OK. And going to publish. And now that's published. So we can come over here to our live site. We're going to just refresh. And you'll notice the Boston Half Marathon showed up. If I click on that, I see my post and my content. Now we want to add a gallery to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new gallery. And the way that I got here, um, down on your left-hand side, there's going to be this gallery tab. And when you go to that gallery, you basically get this little dashboard for the gallery. But we're going to do add a gallery or image. We're going to first add a new gallery. And we're going to call it the Boston Half Marathon. And we're going to add that gallery. And then from there, we're going to browse the photos. And you'll notice there's a picture folder here, and there's about five photos. We're going to select them all and then click Open. And you'll see that they go here. Now, this is important. You want to make sure you choose your gallery. Um, and the way that I did that is just clicked and chose there, and then do Upload Images. And this is going to process through the images. And what it's doing is it's actually making a uh, a thumbnail version and a web safe version of your pictures and I say web safe um, because maybe you've uploaded pictures that are you know really huge pixel size from a camera and um, we just want to optimize them for the WordPress so now that's done you'll see it says five pictures are successfully added and we want to you we want to grab the short code for our gallery. And the way we would do that is go to Manage Gallery and you just want to look and see, okay, Boston Half Marathon is the ID is four. So within our post, we can scroll all the way down and we want to add this little gallery short code and it's going to look like this. NG gallery ID equals four and you want to close the bracket. And this is just the next gen gallery short code and we want to hit OK or update and now that it's updated I can hit refresh 
and you'll notice now that there are the thumbnails that get put in the site. And when I click on them, the thumbnail opens up. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, why is that doing it? Uh, oh, that's not supposed to do that. Supposed to open up as a little pop-up. Let's see here. Yay for technical difficulties. Let's look at the open. No. Options. Gallery. All right, there we go. I had a setting turned off. So you can see, we can now go through the picture. And you have a nice little light box. So I'm going to run through that again um, real quick. So let's go to another. Oh, let's find one that has a few pictures. <coughs> Okay, so we're going to do the cycle for survival. So we're going to copy that content, and we want to make a new post. And we're going to paste in the post. And we're going to call this the cycle for survival. Okay. And this was January. 31st of 2010, so we're going to type that in. 31st of 2010, and it's going to be a fundraising event. And let's clean up this a little bit. Okay, and we want to add our featured image. Come in here, select our file, back out of there to the cycle. And choose that picture. And we're going to use that as our feature. Save. Save those changes. And then we want to go back over to this other tab, and we're going to add a new gallery. And we're going to type our name in, Cycle for Survival. <coughs> and then we're going to browse for our pictures. and choose Cycle for Survival. While that's uploading, we're going to come back over here. I noticed that the uh, gallery was number 5, so we're just going to type in the gallery code. Right like that. And you can see that little code appears up there. So we want ID equals 5. And we can publish that. And it's almost finished. Let's create the thumbnails. And what's there? That's done. So now we're going to come back out to our fundraising events. See the cycle for survival is there. 
can click on that. And the thumbnails are made. Now I can click in. And there's my pictures. You can see, really easy. Set up a gallery. And that concludes the posting of an event with a featured picture and a gallery.